In this tutorial video, we'll discuss a few tips on doing dimensions. So if I want to dimension the angles between these lines here, to do the first one for that 15 degree, I'm going to need my center mark. So I'll choose it, select the circle, and you can see it puts in my crosshairs or my center mark there. And then under the dimensions, I'm going to go to the angular dimension. I'll click my center mark line, and then click the line coming off here and pull it out to the side that gives me my 15 degrees then I can click the line here and the line above it and get my 30 degrees for the train body we want to again put center marks in all of our holes we also want to put them anywhere that we have a 180 degree arc or more so that we can do our dimensions off of that to show the location of the center of this and sometimes you have to zoom in it's wanting to take the arcs instead of the line so that I can get the line and get my center mark and get that 0.25 for my whole locations, we'll do the same thing. Okay, and again, if I get an angle, I'll just escape and try it again until I get the dimension that I want. Now, for your holes, there's actually a tool right here, a hole in thread note. I'll take that and click on the hole itself and then place it out to the side. It will give me the diameter of it. It will give me the uh, depth that I went through. So we made this go through two. And can click OK. And then if I need to reposition it because it ran into my title bar, I can do that. So it has my thread information also. If I just went in and I only did the diameter, you can see I get a lot less information. The only thing that matches up is the diameter. It doesn't give me that there's actually two of these holes that are the same. That there's the uh, depth of two inches and it doesn't give me the thread information. So if it's a hole, it's better to use the hole and thread information or hole and thread note. Uh, we'd also like to be able to do a chamfer, and I have not found the chamfer one here, so under the dimensions, what I'll do is use the angular dimension. Select this line and the line here, and bring it up, and I get the 45 degrees of the chamfer, and then I'll dimension from the line here to this location, and that gives me the point one. So it gives me the same information that it was a chamfer that was 0.1 or 0.01, sorry, by 45 degrees. Okay, even if it's not a hole, if we have circles, we want to do our center marks. So we're going to click the center mark. And choose each of them. That way we can come in and we can dimension that from this point to the line here it shows us 0.28. What I'm going to do is hit escape on the keyboard to get off of the dimension. And then I'm going to double click on this and change it from two decimal places to three under the primary position. It gives me the 0.275. I go back to my dimension. Click on my line there, straight down. And I'm going to take and drag this to the other side if possible. And then double click on it and make it 0.125.
Okay, we also want to be able to dimension where our cutout was and to dimension that it's shelled at point 0.1.